crazy. Now people can bet up to ten dollars on hot shot basketball type wagering. So you know your little basketball hoops, ski ball. A lot of people love ski ball or other type arcade games. It's not going to probably be like Pac Man or anything like that. It could be, but the the imagination can just run with this because it could be any game, right? You could sit down and say, hey, I'm going to score higher than you in Pac-Man. You know what? You know you ain't. All right, bet me. All right, what you want to do? All right, I'll put That's 10 crazy. on it. You know what I mean? Um, so, and when you think about this, they did a, uh, a uh, you know how these companies do like studies and they get the facts. The social betting category is considered to be a $6 billion industry according to Ellers and uh, Kedrick, I think it is. So there's other companies kind of trying to jump in here, but like pickleball, golf, all that stuff. I kind of had an idea like this, similar to this, um, but it was more about like um, board games, like playing like uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Monopoly, you know what I mean? Or something like that was an idea or playing chess. Right. Mm. You know, what I mean, something like that is where my idea was. I never really followed it, um, but this kind of got me my head turning a little bit. My Joker says six billion, bro. And social, I mean, and social betting. They're calling funny, it social betting. Wasn't it an age? Or I guess being uh, Dave and Buster's is at a certain time. You have to be over a certain age. Correct. So I guess. Correct. Yeah. Legally, yeah. They're, they cover their ass. Yeah, I mean, how do they bet? Remember, they bet they're not calling it gambling or betting because it's not like betting with like a sports book or betting against a casino. It's betting against two people. So, so how do you? It's like, how do you address I, the like, money? It's like money. I challenge you, right? Okay. I challenge you to this game for five dollars. So do you put money and in the machine and the machine holds it, and then what? I, that's what I'm assuming. So they're gonna take but, a percent of that? Probably, I would think so. So that sounds like a book to me. Where you don't know how long you're in the, the arcade and you're spending money in other ways, a.k.a. drinking, buying food, buying more money just to play the game. I don't know yet. It's supposedly a couple years away. But I thought it was really, really interesting because we talk about gambling. We talk about gambling as a form of investment. And now we're talking about gambling kind of evolving and touching of how to how to kind of touch a younger audience. Mm -hmm. Now, arcades have been kind of dead for a long time, in my opinion. Dave and Buster's, um, you know, what I mean, but, you know, I used to know like Willow Grove Mall used right. to have a, a crazy arcade. Um, I'm trying to think of Plymouth Meeting ever had an arcade. I think Plymouth Meeting had an arcade. Um, out of you were in Sheldon You know Sheldon Mall, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've been showing him all. Showing him all had an arcade right, right, right where the movie theater was. You yeah, remember right that? The movie yep. Yeah, right where the movie theater was. So, um, you know, arcades used to be that the the thing, but now obviously they died off. So, I think this is an interesting strategy in terms of how to kind of gamble because people who are competitive. This thing about you. This thing about bowling, right? Like where you now, now is locked in. Nobody can renege on you. It's fifty dollars, you know, per game or whatever, and you can lock that in, you know what I mean, and let the game decide who gets the money. So at the end of the game, if you're in for player one, you get the money right away. I'm assuming there's gonna be fees and stuff like that to do that. Um, just like any other kind of like financial app per se, but you get six million people to get on your app. And each person pays two dollar fees, twelve probably million. To, probably to withdraw, like withdraw fees, something like that. Exactly, exactly. But I mean, at the end of the day, Dave and Buster's that's, that's not bringing me there. It's not. So, I guess it'll be more fun to people that's going there. I'm not going to Dave and Buster's to say, "Hey, play me on skee ball." I bet you ten dollars. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's an interesting concept to put, you know, that edge. Um, all right, but what, what, uh, now I know you do this. I know you bowl. Yes. So if they have a Dave and Buster's with bowling, and we talking no. about a hundred, just just think, just, just think about the hustlers, right? Just think about the hustlers who could say, "I, I bet anybody a hundred dollars I can beat them in bowling." 
Just that's, just I go mean, and just holding down the lane all day. Right? I mean, yeah. All day. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. just betting. You can make a, you can make an easy rack in a day if you're a good yeah, bowler. If, you, if you're a good bowler, or if, if he's a really good bowler, you're in trouble. I mean, it comes down to you know I do bowl, and I think within leagues, there's always gambling within leagues anyway. They have a whole bunch of different fifty fifties, first frame, you know, best of three. Like there's a bunch of different gambling opportunities within bowling when you're in the league. Matter of fact, a lot of people are just in the league just to gamble. So yeah, gambling's big everywhere. Everywhere, but for me, going into Dave and Buster is just to. <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm play good. Street Fighter. Yeah, I'm on this Street Fighter. John, give me ten dollars right. on this Street Fighter. I'm, I'm fortunate it's past. It's past my time. But we, we know it's big though. It's, it's the the gaming deal is 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 really big, and I think this is the beginning and opening of the door of something you know really really more because this ima- just now you're talking about Dave and Buster's. Imagine people. Doing this for like Call of Duty, like war game matches and death matches. Now, obviously, they got the big ones, but just imagine just for the individual, you're sitting at home, you can play either for free or it's a five dollar, ten dollar, um, you know, entry fee into a hundred dollar death match on Call of Duty on PlayStation. Winner takes six hundred. Yeah, Bro. I, I I think I think that's when you get to the gam- that's when you get into the gambling though. That's when you like they would have to be almost like a it's almost like a book, but just but it's not book. gambling yeah. if they call it a challenge, if they call it something that something else, like it's a social challenge, and we're yeah. just going to give you the winner. And for us hosting it, our fee is three hundred. No, that's that's gambling. It's the same thing as poker. Gambling, dog. Yeah, it's the same it's thing not with poker. Gambling. We have a we have a we have a we have tournaments. We have we're online. Everybody, I don't, we don't, we only take a percent of what, you know, what the, whatever, blah, blah, blah is. It'll be the same situation with, with Call of Duty. All those are great idea. I think these things are already happening. They have private betting, like different betting apps you can put money into and then bet through that way. But this is my thing with Dave and Busters. What, what makes it any different for me? Just me and you going to the, to the, I don't know, Street Fighter and saying, yo, put $10 on this, on this match. Why the, why the hell would I go through Dave and Busters to bet you $10? Oh, because we, we got to make it official. It you is official. Put this shit on the wood. It's all good. What are we talking about? <laughs> you know, how, you know same. how jokers be. You know how jokers no, be. Like, nah, and I it ain't no bet. You, but but but, but do, you I know. But, but if I, but if I did that, you, you wouldn't sweat it. You'd be like, all right, I, ain't, I can't, I can't mess with you no more like that. If that just, shit on the wood is, 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 is on the wood. That's what it is. <laughs> it's on the wood. Is on the wood. I don't care about you. Your feelings, nothing. You put that shit on the, on the, on the wood. 